Hello, welcome. Read this problem, try it out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. All right, so I, I think we can graph this pretty quickly by hand, and I'm going to try to convince you of that. And I'm going to start by just writing this a little bit larger. So we have t of x, and I'm going to talk about it as I write it, is 3. Okay, the, that means that the amplitude is the absolute value of 3, and the amplitude is therefore 3. Uh, times the sine of 2x. Okay, that tells me that 2 pi over this value here, which sometimes is called k or omega, that's the period. And that's 2 pi over 2 is just pi, and that's our period. And then plus 2, okay, that's our midline here. Write it out. It's a vertical translation up, and the midline is 2. So let's just put that all together. Midline here it is, 2. So draw a dotted line. It's not really part of the graph, right? It's just a reference point. And it's a sine wave with an amplitude of 3. So it's going to go up 3 from there. 1, 2, 3. And that's a height of 5. And then down 3 to 1, 0, negative 1. So it's kind of like our upper bound that we're going to oscillate below. And then our lower bound is where we're going to oscillate above. It's just, it just oscillates back and forth. And my trick here to easily capture the period is to go over essentially four increments. Let's do this in blue. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And usually I put a two pi there, but <clears throat> in this case, I know it has to finish one cycle. So the period tells us that it finishes one cycle at pi radian. So um, instead of writing two pi and then trying to squeeze everything down, I'm just going to squeeze the actual increment down by cutting that in half. So instead of a 2 pi, I put a pi. And then in the middle, instead of um, pi, it's now pi over 2. And this is going to be pi over 4. And this is going to be um, 3 pi over 4 here. Now, you can see this is totally crunched and kind of gross, so I'm going to kind of do this. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to write that as every other increment, like this: one, two, three, four. And again, that's pi, pi over two, pi over four, and then three pi over four. And then I'm just going to draw in the sine wave. So the sine wave will start at the midline. At this first increment, pi over four is going to reach a maximum. Let's so come back down here, pi over two hit the midline, then back down here to the minimum, negative 1, and then back up to pi, and then you get something like this. And then I think you're good to go. Um, there's no phase shift over here, but oops, they say the demand is to go up to 2 pi. We can handle that. Let's keep going. This right here, every time I hop up every 2 increments, this is the 4th. So this is 4 fourths, and 5 fourths, 6 fourths, 7 fourths, and then 8 fourths, or 2 pi. And then I'm just doing the same thing. I'm going to go up to a maximum, down to the midline, back to the, oscillate down to the, the bottom of the graph, and then back up to the midline. So you're going to get essentially two cycles of this wave. And that's it. All right, so I hope that helps.